Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Lian Art. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's video. So today I will be using this monstera leaf and I love this mold. It's really pretty. So I decided to try the Larimar effect. So for this reason, I mix the resin totally the way I mix for the Larimar effect and wanted to see how the results come out because this is not a deep mold and it's a uh, on the larger side you can say white so i wanted to see that the will it create the effect so starting off with the white so the same i poured the white first and now i'm adding the blue Same technique adding into the center. And I'm using a low viscosity resin here. Just making sure that I got the last drop in it. And for my third color, I will be using a yellow. So for the colors, I have used Casting Craft for the white color. And I have used transparent epoxy pigment for blue and again a transparent epoxy pigment for this yellow. So this is my third color. So just adding the remaining of the blue because really didn't want to waste any resin here. And then I will be pouring my clear resin into the center. So same technique is done here. So uh, I'm really excited to see the results. Because I use this exact ratio for the thicker mold and I get a beautiful Larimar effect. But I really wanted to see that what do I get the effect in this mold because it's large and white. But the amount of the resin is same. So after adding the clear resin, I am just using my torch to remove any bubbles. then I will leave it to cure for a day. So see you next day. So this is the next day and let's demold it. I can see the top is amazing. I can see the beautiful lines and veins on the back side, but I really don't know how the front turned out. So this might be a good uh, experiment to show that if you were using the same resin amount for a thin resin mold, if you get, will you get the effect? Okay, yeah, you can see I have a lot of white on the back. I don't know why this happened, but, and it's resin and resin has its own mind that I always say. So, but I'm not really disappointed because I get a lovely effect on the back and the colors are so pretty and I can see some... Uh, you can see the crackling happen on the sides of the leaf. So we will work on this side of the monstera leaf. I really love the mold and not super sad here. So I decided to do some fun techniques with it. So first is coming the gilding glue and this is my favorite thing to do when anything goes fail. Uh, yeah, the first thing I need to add is the gilding glue. So I'm doing it and you just enjoy the process.
So after adding the glue, I will leave it to dry. And now it's all dried up and it's sticky. And now is the next part is using the mirror gold here. You can use gold foil as well. So I will be using the combination of gold foil and mirror foil. Mirror foil. So I'm almost out of my mirror foil. I need to buy more <laughs> new one. But let's work with what I have at the moment. So I will be using a mirror foil. It's gold color and I will be using some gold foil. So it's mix and match. So after using the gold foil, when I'm done with it, so if you have seen my Tamu haul, you know that I bought these uh, little cute bottles and in these bottles there were different nail foils. So one was this, uh, it's, it has gold leaf with the netting. So I had this leaf in my mind, so that's why I bought it because I want to experiment it and add it and want to add some texture to my leaf. So that's why, that's what I will be doing here. So I really love to add mixed media to my resin projects because it adds depth and excitement to a very simple resin project. So what I'm thinking here is that I will be cutting this fo uh, net foil into a bit on a uh, in regular shape because I don't want that sharp cutting on the side. I just want it uh, to be what you can say camouflage into the leaf like it's part of the leaf. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So I mixed my resin here for this layer. So I will be uh, covering the leaf with this resin, a thin layer of resin. Because this resin will help the foil, the net foil to stick to the leaf. So because I use a very less amount of resin here only to cover the just the top of the monster leaf I need the heat gun to thin up my resin and so it cover more area this way. So now I'm done with the with covering the leaf with resin and here comes the exciting part. So this is the net foil and I'm actually working with it for the first time. So I will be using it in a random direction by whatever I think looks lovely. And with my popsicle stick, I will be pressing it down into the resin. So I knew that I want to use this mash, you can say nail mash with gold foil onto the leaf. But I really didn't know how exactly I will, I will be placing it. Because I want, don't want to hide this lovely, uh, you can say, effect that I can see in the leaf. And I really don't want to overdo it also. So you just enjoy the process of me adding this nail foil to the monster leaf. So it's all done now and I will leave it to cure. So this is the next day and you can see it's all been cured now and the foil has settled nicely onto the leaf.
so believe me that this project took me around you can say one and a half month because this has been done in months and before i made the leaf and then added the gold foil and then i left it and there were different things that were coming in between and then i had no idea what i was had to do with it because uh i do not present work when i think that it's not finished so yeah there are so many projects i can show you that are on my desk for around more than three months four months because i think that they are not finished so yeah they are just wandering here and there and when i get the time and think that i need to add this and it's done then i show you because yeah it's a peace of mind for me and also want you, wanting to show you something different because we really love to see new ideas different concepts coming in the resin world so you can make different things thinking out of the box so yeah And this is the final top coat. Let's see how the leaf turned out. Get ready. So this is how it turned out. And I will be saying the same thing again that I love it because I have so many textures happening in this monstra leaf and the effect itself into the leaf. You can say it waning effect. And then I added this gold leaf, the netting. It's really amazing. And um, I think I have new ideas for using this, uh, you can say the mash or net. So there are other colors also available on the Temu and I will link it in my description so you can buy yourself and create amazing things. So I hope you like it and if you did please do let me know in comments and also please like subscribe and share. Thumbs up if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed please consider doing do so. And again, thank you so much for your amazing, lovely feedback. That really means a lot to me. And also I do get so many amazing suggestions and try to follow them. And I try to reply as soon as possible. I do get delayed in replying sometime. I know that, but please don't mind it because I read all of your comments and they make my day. So again, thank you so much. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.